Enjoy the look. And my headband here, I actually made this. Um, I made this by, with I added all the flowers and I added all the crystals to it. I love crystals. Mm -hmm. Glisten the other glass. So uh, we wanna go ahead and start with um, our eyes. I already have my face done um, because today is just specifically focusing on an eye tutorial. And the palette that we're going to be using today is from L'Oreal. It is the L'Oreal Palette Nude 2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one actually, um, the colors are really pretty in here. You, It says that you get glamour, um, a mauve ombre, a red carpet ready, sultry smoky. You could do a lot of different looks with this color palette here. Um, let me open it up so you guys can see. Don't mind this one. Obviously, you can see I use this one a lot. Um, I love this palette. And you know, I have to say, drugstore makeup has come way up. It has. Um, the pigments are really good on here. Um, I've used this on myself and other people, and everyone has always complimented the look. So, obviously, they're doing something right. So, I want to go ahead and start with my transition color. And using a MAC 214, the number's kind of worn off, but as you can see, a MAC 214, I want to go ahead and um, apply the transition color, and I'm going to apply it up and through my brow bone here. Um, that way, the color blends out once I apply the color into my crease. So the first color that I'm going to apply is this um, nice neutral color here. It's a little bit of a matte and kind of sheen type of um, finish to it it's kind of a it's a different kind of finish i you know it's definitely one that they only can create so um, i'm gonna go ahead and apply it onto the brow bone area And once you're applying this, just make sure you kind of blend it through. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect because you're going to always blend it out at the top. I love using these palette, especially for like every day because the colors aren't too dark to where you can't get away with them during the daytime. Like if you want to do a nice pretty smoky eye for work you can always this is a great palette to use and then I'm gonna go in with uh, my Mac 239 and I'm just gonna blend this out right where the color meets my eyebrow almost up there I just want to blend out any lines that may be there and you do want to do like nice circular, little circular motions. And so, once you have that color applied, which is going to be your transition color, you want to go ahead and you want to start building your dark, your depth in your crease. And your crease color, I'm going to use. My, oh, actually, I'm sorry, this was a MAC 219, not a 239. Um, I'm going to use the MAC 239, and I'm going to go through kind of with this brown tone here in my crease. So this is going to be placed inside my crease here. And then you want to blend that one out. Just to place a little bit on the brush, and then go through and buy it in But I'm going to go through with the MAC 214 and I'm also going to blend that one out. So I'm going to go in with the MAC 214 and I'm going to blend this one into the crease all the way through to the corner of my eye. 
and up into my transition color but not too far because we don't want to lose our transition color but you can always go through and you can always add a little bit more transition color just so you can blend it down into your crease if you go you know, a little bit too crazy with the color yeah I can hear it now can hear them loud lights on me for you can always do less color, more color, depending on how dark you want to go with this look. It's very, very, very easy. You know, it's not a hard look to do. Um, I love this because this is an any type of day look. In my opinion. You know, some people might say it's too dark. However, I love it all the time this day. So now I'm going to go ahead and through, and don't forget to do your other eye. And with that same brush, just like you did to this one, I'm going to want to go through and I like to apply my makeup with my eyes open because it's how people are going to see you. It's always better to apply your, your makeup if you can with your eyes open. This one out a little bit more. Yeah. It's not about the hard life, but the hard work you put in from it. Dedication. Uh, okay. So now, now that we have our crease color applied, I want to go through and apply my final color and this one is where we're going to get the halo effect. The halo effect is going to come through because we're going to place our final color which is this dark purpley plum looking color here um, in the corner of our eye and in the inner corner of our eye. And that's where we're going to get kind of like that halo very kind of almost if you were to put once you put the bronze tone it almost looks like a wet look and I'm gonna go through again with my 239 brush this is a different one and then I'm gonna take this color here and then just apply it into the inner corner very carefully place it and then to the inner corner of my eye and the outer corner of my eye through with my MAC 219 I want to softly blend those edges and a little bit up into my crease color that way you get the halo look Key word is blend. Blend, blend, blend. You can never blend too much. Well, I mean, you can blend too much if you're trying to get a darker color, but the edges, you always want them to just dissipate and just be almost to nothing. That way you can't see where it starts and where it ends. And the final color that I'm going to apply is actually not even an eyeshadow. It's a bronzer, this one here. Um, it's a mineral loose bronzer, and I love it. I'm gonna show you how it just glistens. Yeah. And this is what I'm gonna apply in the center of my eye. 
So I'm going to go through again with my MAC 239. And this one has some color on it, but that's okay because I'm just going to use the other side. And then I'm just going to take some onto the brush and just apply it to the center of my eyelid. Oh, giving me life. Mm. Love it. I would bathe in this stuff. Give me vampire skin. More of my transition color on my Mac 214. This one here. Actually, you never want to blow on your thumb, on your brushes, especially if you're working on a client. And then I'm going to apply it a little bit underneath the eye. Just to give the under eye just a little bit more depth. With our crease color, I'm just going to take a little bit on my 239 brush. And just go right over that transition color just to darken it up a little bit. Not too much, just a very gently. Just go right over. And that's it, you're done. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my um, my eyeliner and some lashes and finish my brows off. And my brows, I'm actually going to use um, this dark color here. I like using this for my eyebrows because I have dark eyebrows as it is, um, but I don't like to use black because I'm not trying to go for a chola look, okay? I just want them to be a little bit more of a darker brown. So I go through with this color here on just any angled brush and I just, I fill in the outer part of my brow. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate all the love and the comments. If you guys like the video, make sure you click like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, well, you know what to do. Thanks so much, guys. Until next time, bye.